Maulana Muhammad ibn Abdullah. Uh, in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. All praise and thankful be to Allah Azza wa Jalla that let us witness this month of Ramadan. Gradually, Alhamdulillah Azza wa Jalla, today mark us 14th of Ramadan, 1445 after Hijrah, which applicable to the 24th March 2024. Gregorian calendar. My brothers in Islam and my sisters in faith as well, I greet you with a special greeting of Islam, which is Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Uh, Alhamdulillah, the Wajalla as well. I love to share this little video with you this morning, which is my brothers and sisters that have been oppressed, that have been killing in Gaza, Palestine, and some other various countries. I pray Allah to ease their affairs. So, it's about the feeling. I'm so hesitant, I'm so disturbed, I'm so inconvenienced, I'm not that happy. In this blessed month of Ramadan, and my brothers in other various countries have been tutored by the Kufar, the Zionist Kufar, and others. The tyrannic rulers are oppressed them in the Muslim country and other various countries. Ya Allah, I pray me Allah Azza wa Jalla to ease their affairs. During this time, we should be more spiritually resilient and increase our ibadah. And one of the simplest forms of ibadah is by reciting dua supplication. It has been 75 years since the Nakba in 1948. Throughout these years, my brother, Palestine. The Palestinians have had to bear unimaginable oppression and suffering. Every time we see news of Palestinians being oppressed, displaced, or killed, we can't help but feel grief, rage, sadness, and helplessness. My brother. I'm so disturbed about the people of Gaza, Palestine, Kashmir, Bangladesh, more especially the, the current situation of Palestinians. They think you're nothing. Wallahi lazim. Allah Azza wa Jalla mentioned in the group, glorious Quran that in Surah Al Ghafir, Your Lord has proclaimed. Call upon me. I will respond to you. With this regard, we call upon Allah Azza wa Jalla to give the people of Gaza and Palestinians the istikama, the steadfast in their tawhid of La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Ya Allah, help the people of Gaza. Ya Allah, save them for the torment of Azaba that they are encountered from 